Here's CG 13, live at 6. Good evening. Joined by state and federal transportation safety officials, Governor Mike Parson this morning unveiled a plan to spend $50 million on safety projects surrounding unmarked, non-signaled, so-called passive rail crossings in Missouri. The announcement comes just over a year after a fatal train truck collision near Menden, Missouri, and just a day after the release of the National Transportation Safety Board's report on that tragedy. Within the first hours after the Amtrak train from Kansas City to Chicago collided with a dump truck driven by 54-year-old Brookfield resident Billy Barton, killing Barton and three train passengers and injuring 150 others, local people were telling anyone who would listen that the crossing in Sheraton County was an accident waiting to happen. I've heard that they run about 85 trains a day through here. Most of them anywhere from 50 to 70 miles per hour. Our Amtrak will go 75 to 100 through here. But a report from the NTSB says it wasn't the train that caused this accident, or even specifically the truck driver. It was a crossing with a grade 13 times the maximum slope allowed by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation officials, with an angle at the intersection 30 degrees sharper than the AASHTO guideline, and with a directive for traffic to wait at the bottom of the slope 152 feet from the rails. It was a poorly designed crossing. We saw that immediately when we were on scene. Hammondy joined Governor Mike Parson and others to announce the commitment to address 47 passive railroad crossings in Missouri, crossings on the lines that carry passenger trains, with upgrades that include signs, flashing lights, drop arms, and potentially road rebuilds. All of these 47 passive crossings are on uh, on roads owned by uh, local county or city governments. And that raises a political flag, primarily because the plan recommends eliminating 17 of those 47 crossings, including the one at Menden, which has been closed since the accident. For a lot of local people, those crossings are the only convenient way to get farm goods to market and people to jobs or shopping. And we got to work with the local communities to say, hey, maybe this crossing doesn't need to be here. Political disputes may be even court cases could delay the effort. But McKenna proposes to begin the work immediately, completing as much as possible in one year. Communities that raise no objections will go to the front of the line. And then there are the rail companies affected. They have to schedule time to make these improvements. They have to shut down um, their commerce to do that. That's a big imposition for them. McKenna says it typically costs about $400,000 to add signal lights and signage to a railroad crossing. However, in cases where road reconstruction becomes necessary, it could cost millions. McKenna says there are some 1,400 potentially dangerous passive rail crossings in Missouri. The state is targeting only those involving the three rail lines that carry passenger trains.